Let's check in with Israel. Thanks, Mike, and be prepared here because your colleague's head might explode on this one. Uh, it's a hotter take than Jeff's stickman take, but uh, it's possible that Clay Thompson probably shouldn't have been an all-star. Uh, I'll start with the good here. Obviously, he guards the team's best player, perimeter player. He had the 60-point game. He's always a threat on the floor. But a lot of his numbers, despite now being like essentially a third option, have gone down, including his efficiency numbers. If you look at some of the advanced stats, and I'm not going to bore Jeff with all of them, but uh, they're not very good. Uh, he's 68th in real plus minus, and just for the record, Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, Steph Curry, all top 10 in that statistic. Uh, if you talk to some of the writers around, they'll tell you his defense hasn't been as good as advertised. Even Steve Kerr will tell you off the ball he'll fall asleep a little bit. And, yeah, if you look at Damian Lillard's numbers and his value to his team, he probably should have easily been an all-star over Clay Thompson. Now, this is just a case where there are a lot of guys who are – you know, capable of being all-stars every year, but it seems like this one shouldn't have been such an automatic, and it seems people think it was pretty automatic. Uh, can, can I just respond? When I go to the writers to tell me who can guard in this league, I'll put a gun to my own head, okay? <laughs> Listen, the writers know as little about NBA defense as that real plus-minus stat. Clay Thompson is an elite defender on an elite team. They're not going to be the number one team on defense without Klay Thompson's greatness. So you can throw out to me any advanced stat you want. Just don't tell me the writers know one thing, not one, about defense. No, I, first of all, include me when you say their head's going to explode because making that statement, I'm speechless. I mean, that make, whoever co-signs that, that makes no sense. Klay Thompson, without a doubt, is a all-star. He's a, a, a big-time player. He's a future Hall of Famer when you look at what he's done thus far in his career. He's an incredible on-ball defender, which allows the Warriors to be an elite defensive team. What, what he does to the best perimeter player on the opposing team night in and night out. You just did him a disservice and disrespected greatness. Uh, Israel, or would you like her? Not disrespecting greatness at all. In fact, he's probably one of my top five players to watch in the league. But it's an all-star game. It's an individual thing, and his numbers individually are not what they have been. It's not to say that his value to this great team is not very high. It's not to say he won't be a Hall of Famer one day. This particular season, there were probably 12 guys that deserved to get on this all-star team more than him, in some opinions. Now, I'm not saying I'm right, but I'm just saying it wasn't even looked at uh, as, a, as a questionable choice. That's all. 12? Hold on, hold on. 12 guys? He wouldn't even have made the second All-Star team? I mean, well, you go, sometimes you just got to, you just don't say anything. Because it makes no sense what he just, we just wasted about a minute. And Israel's outstanding, but that was, that was his, his worst display that I've seen. And he normally does a great job. Somebody should have said, what are you about to say? And then don't say anything. Well, one of them, just to bring up something that Steve Kerr told us, because we were asking him about Clay Thompson's defense, and he said just in the past week he guarded Kyrie Irving, Russell Westbrook, and James Harden. Those are three guards, the guys in a row that he guards. Yeah, but if Steve Kerr would have known those real plus-minus stats, <laughs> he would have had him on the bench, and Ian Clark would have been starting. And Damian Lillard is a great, great basketball player. player. There's no question C. about C. that. C.J. McCollum. C.J. McCollum. You can make the case for both of them. But that team has underachieved. I'm stunned. I'm just I'm just surprised you didn't when you talked about writers you didn't add play by play guys as well. No, them too. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, come on now. You wouldn't see you wouldn't purport to know if a guy is doing the right thing in a scheme, right? You wouldn't say like without being at practice as McCaw puts him over 140, you wouldn't be trying to say, you know, Clay Thompson, you know, he's not that good a defender. All I know is he's a great defender just by watching him. But I would agree with you on that. He was the stopper for Team USA. So there's got to be some dumb coaches. Keep putting him on the best player. Well, it is with great.